Hey YouTube, it's Calvin Camilo from Memos Tech Tips, and I'm bringing you video number three on just things that I do for uh, for working for my clients. And uh, this is just a, like a little uh, after video of part uh, video one when I showed you guys the switch and the and the and the patch cables and everything. So I'm I'm, over, I'm done. So I'm just gonna show you guys uh, how it came out. Let's go. So you can see. These were the patch cables that were connected to the patch panel and switch. And they're about three feet long or something like that. Here's one. So yeah, they're, they're pretty long, which is unnecessary. So here is the finished product. And I still have to uh, just close up. But you always want to leave a little bit of slack because you never know what might happen. And you might need to just keep, uh, you might need to cut some more. Uh, some extra slack there always leave slack so here's the bring it up here here's my little the uh, server rack that I showed you guys in part one as you can see how it came out and uh, so here's the net gear uh, switch the patch panel the patch cables I made from video number two and I hope you guys like the way they came out I think they came out pretty pretty awesome let me get up here more and uh so yeah so right now i have uh what is that it's 14 15 16 and i still have some in case uh want to install more computers i still have uh four eight left so these two are actually uh there's two of them actually going to the server because they're running uh dual nick cards for double the bandwidth uh, so as you can see here, here's the modem, the NAS for backup purposes, as it's packing up right now because it hasn't backed up for a while, and the router. So you connect the modem to the router and one cable from the router to the switch right there. And the router is going to give uh, all the IPs, and then the switch just helps that out. Like you can connect, uh, this is a 24 port so all of them are running it took me a while but I got them all to run gig, uh, gigabit except for this one this is the printer which doesn't matter uh, that's the a Xerox machine so that's the only one running at 100 uh, megabits but it doesn't matter all the other computers are running at gigabit so these are two server right there that's the internet one and then all the client computers so uh, yep that's pretty much it guys I hope you like the uh, my little work here I think it came out awesome I love it now I just gotta close up a bunch of uh, panels in the in the ceiling let me show you guys real quick because if you want to get into networking uh, this is what you're gonna have to do you can climb ladders and uh, so pretty much running cables and all this stuff here's a ladder and I had a uh, more panels over here as you can tell, just a bunch of a bunch of wires. And, oh yeah, and here's a computer that I made. I had to remove the panel to do something. And this is like a little station that I built for one of the rooms that didn't have uh, that didn't have a computer. So yeah, I just installed a monitor on the wall. I made a little shelf. This is a Logitech wireless keyboard. This is the K K400R pretty nice it's like a laptop uh, with the little mouse pad right there and all I gotta do is get a longer uh, power cable for them for the monitor and run it through here and run it through the wall so it can come out through here through that hole right there and you know put it on the wall so it, you know be nice and neat so that's a little uh, system that I built uh, for that room and the server's right there. I got to mess around with that. And pretty much, there's the two cables that I told you guys. Uh, one is uh, Category 6 and one is Category 5E, but they're both running at gigabit. Uh, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, if you want to get into networking, uh, definitely uh, get your strong legs because you're going to be up and down ladders and uh, on floors hooking up uh, wires and stuff like that. So I hope you guys like that. I think it came out awesome. 
And that's another computer that was already there, and there's another monitor, another keyboard for it. So, yep, I hope you guys like that, man. Uh, any comments, questions, concerns, uh, leave it at the... Uh, Leave it uh, at the bottom. Comments, concerns, uh, you know, questions. Uh, like, favorite, share this video. I appreciate everything. And I hope you guys like what I'm showing you. And uh, if you have any suggestions for any videos, I know I have to make a video for uh, one of uh, member, the one subscriber that asked me to uh, sh make a video on how to actually build a computer. So I'm going to hopefully do that in a couple of weeks. I know I've been promising him to do it, but I'm going to do it. So I'll do that for him, and uh, so you guys can see it too. All right, so this is Kelvin again from Memo Stick Tips. Peace out.